the University of South Carolina Beaufort Sand Sharks have been a member of the Sun Conference since 2008. However, in exactly one month, the Sand Sharks will be joining the Peach Belt Conference as they compete in the NCAA Division II. Jose Quas is not a top name prospect. He's a converted pitcher who last worked for FedEx. His brother played catch with him every night, not giving up on his dream. And he got a shining moment Tuesday night. However, Seattle Mariners fans are getting quite the breeze at the ballpark. Suarez leads the majors in strikeout. Finland Field has been the home of the USCB women's soccer team for the last 11 years, and it will be the home to many new faces as the Sand Sharks have brought in 13 recruits for the 2022 season. NFL mandatory minicamps are underway. For the Washington Commanders, they will be without star wide receiver Terry McLaurin. He is opting out due to a contract dispute. Tampa Bay Buccaneers cornerback Dee Delaney hosted a football camp in his home state of South Carolina. Kids ranging from 6 to 18 years old attended the camp. This has been on Delaney's mind for quite some time. I always wanted to do camp since I was in college. I was doing little get-togethers. I always knew that once I'd be able to get an NFL and get the exposure, I was going to do a big camp. Delaney is hosting the camp right here at Whale Branch High School where he played football. And he's looking to make an impact on a community that means so much to him. I love kids. You know, my wife, we always talk. I told her I want a bunch of kids. You know, she don't really want a lot. But I just love kids, just seeing them smile and just giving them something that I didn't really have. D grew up in the low country of South Carolina. Due to little exposure, he attended more baseball camps than football camps as a kid. Delaney knows how it feels to be in these kids' shoes. Even at a younger age, I think it's real good for them to see that, you know, hey, I, I know an NFL guy. He lives right here where I'm from. Delaney was not the only NFL player the kids got to know. Eight-year veteran safety and low country native Ron Parker was also in attendance. It was fun, man. I, I, I almost wanted to put, put some pads and helmets on just being ahead with them. Just the energy, man, the energy and the passion that D and the kids had ahead. They had fun. They participated. They listened. They focused. And for the most part, man, they came out here and had fun. What's your purpose? What's your why? And for me and my family, and just seeing all the kids I had having fun, man, I just love it. Football, family, and fun. That was the theme at Whale Branch High School today. From Seabrook, South Carolina, Dylan Kearns, Full Sail Live. Oracle Park in San Francisco has a reputation of being a pitcher's ballpark. However, the red-hot New York Mets come in leading all of baseball in team batting average. Mix that with some Bay Area wind and those stereotypes can go out the window. Fasten your seatbelt, folks. It's about to get bumpy. We pick it up, bottom three, tied at one. Jock Peterson hammers a cutter to right field, and it'll go! Peterson, a 275 hitter against right-handed pitchers. Giants lead 3-1. Fourth inning, two on for Tommy Lastella. He turns on an inside pitch, and it's out of here! Lastella's second homer of the year breaks it open for now. Giants lead 6-2, runner on first for Jock Peterson. You know, he spoke to Barry Bonds before the game, and I think that wisdom's paying off because he does it again, this time to dead center. Peterson's second multi-homer game of the year. Giants pouring it on. Top of the seventh, Mets down six. Dominic Leone facing Francisco Lindor, and look out, Levi's landing. A towering home run. Lindor, 19 RBIs in the last two weeks. Giants lead by four. Top eight, bases loaded for Dom Smith. That ball's chopped up the middle and into center field. McNeil and Escobar cross the plate. Mets cut it to within two. Later in the inning, base is loaded. Lindor pokes it down the left field line and let the carousel begin. Peterson hits the deck and three score on the bases clearing triple. The Mets league leading 12th triple of the year. They lead 10 to eight on the back of Francisco Lindor. Bottom eight, two on. Edwin Diaz facing the imposing bat of Jock Peterson. There's a long drive to right. It's headed for the bay. A three-run homer, the third of the night for Jock Peterson. The third Jock pop of the game makes it 11-11. Top nine tie game runner on third. Nimmo skies one to deep left. Peterson under it. He'll make the catch. Tagging is Jankowski. He will score and take the lead. Tied up, bottom nine, winning run on second. Crawford grounds it to left. Here comes Darren Ruff. He is safe. Giants win. Yeah.